Good morning, Grace and Peace family. It's Pastor James here. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I just finished my morning run, and you can hear the birds chirping. The sun is out. It's, it's partly sunny, and this is the day the Lord has made. There's sunny days. There's not so sunny days. There's times in the earth where we're going through extreme challenge and, and people are facing duress but every day is the day the Lord has made it's the day the Lord has made I was meditating on that as I was running this morning and as I was worshiping the Lord and thinking how the Lord God the creator of everything He's the author and the maker of your days and my days. He's the, he's the creator of this day. So it's the maker's day. Today is the maker's day. I want you to think about what God's word says about our maker. Think about the names of our maker. Think about the names of our God. And so if our God is a faithful God, then today is a day for faithfulness. So the maker makes the day for you to experience who he is in the day. So you can take it to the bank. Today God is going to be faithful. God's word says our God is a strong God. He shows himself strong on our behalf if we love him. So today the strong God made this day. So his strength is available. We know that our God is the God of salvation. He makes all things whole. He brings wholeness into our lives. So did you know that today is the day that, that salvation has created? The God of salvation has made this day for us to experience His salvation. So when you look at it that way, the let us rejoice and be glad part. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. That part, it's, it's a done deal there's so much to to stir up joy about think about the faithfulness the love of god this is the day the love of god has made <clears throat> so the maker of true love not false counterfeit love not a fleeting emotional love but deep abiding love the loving kindness of the lord god <clears throat> is ours today and we can take joy and experience it in the midst of whatever's going on and so understand this that there's a counterfeit maker, there's a counterfeit creator, the Antichrist. And so, if this is the maker's day, whatever you make of this day will point to the maker. If it's all about being afraid, if it's all about letting worry dominate your, your mind and your heart, then that isn't the Lord God, our maker, Jehovah. Uh, Jesus, Yeshua, that is the anti-maker, that is the anti-Christ, that is the author of fear, the author of worry. And so, I remember how, how Joshua, very interesting scene uh, in, the, in the children of Israel, was dealing with some very insolent, very rebellious, very self-seeking uh, lost people and he simply said this uh, as for me and my house we will serve the Lord so today is the day to choose choose you this day who you will serve so every day we have that choice are we gonna serve the one true living God who has so many amazing things in store for us he has a prayer pathway for us to pray out the heart of God to release uh, Holy Spirit, God-breathed prayer into this day. Are we gonna, we're going to choose to serve Him, or are we going to allow uh, anything else to be the Master and Lord so that we give, we give breath and life and speak words that, that honor the anti-maker, not the one true God? So be encouraged to be challenged with those things today. Choose you this day to serve the Lord God of Scripture, 
dig deep into the Word to see all the things that He says He is and who He wants to be in and through you today. All of His names should be on our lips continually, that the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart would be pleasing to Him so that we would continually give praise and glory and honor to the one who created us, the one who made us, who made this beautiful day. So I'm praying for you today, and I want to encourage you uh, to dig deep into the Word and spend time in His presence. And I want to pray right now. Father, today in the name of Jesus, whatever might be appearing before my Grace and Peace family, my dear brothers and sisters, whatever it looks like to them, I pray that you open the eyes of their understanding, that you give them the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you, so that every outlook is a God outlook. Every circumstance is an opportunity to choose the Lord God Almighty, Jehovah, the Creator God, the loving God, the saving God, the hopeful God, the redeeming God, who turns every situation into the plan of God in the earth. So I pray that our eyes and our ears are open to pray out your heart, your will, that we truly can come to a place where daily our prayer and our breath is, oh, how holy and awesome is your name, God. And as we magnify your name, we're going to release your kingdom so that your kingdom does come and that your will is done in the earth today. Lord, just let your favor go before your people. <clears throat> I pray for all those in harm's way, our first responders, those in the medical field, those in healthcare industry, all our service workers, all our government, our leaders. Lord, let righteousness be exalted in every arena of life today. And let your power be made manifest. Let your glory be shown in this time. We pray for a sudden and quick end to this plague. We call the name of Jesus who is the answer. We call the name of Jesus that is higher. That we would see miraculous healings of COVID-19. We would see miraculous interventions. And we would see most of all, Lord, your gospel go forth to the ends of the earth so that your, your coming again would come soon. We're looking forward to being with you in that glorious day. Turn the hearts of the people back to you today. Turn your people back to you to make them a people of prayer, a people of faith, a people of power who walk out your divine will with miracles and signs and wonders. In Jesus' name I pray. I pray that you have an amazing day. Whatever time of day it is, this is the day the Lord has made. And you can rejoice and be glad in it. And you can serve the Lord with gladness in this day.